Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. It is Football Thursday at Doc Sports. That's the day of the week when we release all of our plays for the entire weekend. Starting with Thursday, going right through Monday Night Football, college football, pro football, the whole shebang. Uh, we do that each and every Thursday, and this Thursday is no different. I'll have all my plays posted Thursday afternoon over at DocSports.com on my Handicappers homepage, and that includes an eight-star play in the NFL. First NFL eight-star of the season. We had an eight-star in college football several weeks ago. We had Iowa. Lane less than a touchdown to Michigan State. Iowa wins 49-7. Uh, so again, eight-star play in the NFL leads the entire card. We've got a top play in college football, multiple game package between college football and the NFL. And we're going to kick things off with Thursday night NFL action as part of the weekend card. So that'll all be available on my handicappers homepage, DocSports.com. My last 506 NFL releases online going back several years now, we're hitting 58% again against the spread, so let's keep it going this weekend. It's not been easy this year in football, as you all know, with all the COVID situations and everything else, but uh, we swept our elite plays again last weekend. In my elite level plays in college and pro football are a combined 65 and 45. That's 59% uh, over the last 110. And again, swept last week, seven star on the Jets and a six star in Colorado in college. Uh, no college basketball for me, gonna make a pass on Thursday. We won again yesterday, thanks to those of you who jumped on board. We had a six-star play on Marshall. They had the big second half, one by 12, laying anywhere from five and a half to six and a half points in that one. And uh, we will now go into Friday, 10 and one, 91% with our college basketball sides on a run that began the second day of the season. And also, we are up now over $4,100 during this run for $100 per unit. Betters and plays rated five stars and higher in college basketball, a perfect five and oh, plus $2,900 on the season thus far. Don't like the short card on Thursday. We'll be back in college basketball, I would assume, on Friday. We'll tell you more about that on Friday's report. Uh, we're going to talk a little college football in just a second. Going to give you our free play between Pitt and Georgia Tech in a moment. Also wanted to mention I do have soccer on Thursday afternoon. UEFA Europa League action. We won again on Wednesday. And we've been cleaning up in soccer. Over $3,000 won for $100 per unit players. And uh, we're 7-1. and one. That goes back about 10 days now, seven and one on the pitch so we will have soccer on thursday we will have our entire week of college and pro football on thursday starting with thursday night nfl action uh and and so it's it's going to be a busy week and there's no doubt about it can't wait to get started on thursday night of the nfl uh, also wanted to mention don't forget if you're not yet a member at docsports.com just want to give it a trial run click on that link below the video get yourself set up for a free 60 dollars account which you can then use on any of my daily packages or anybody else over at docsports.com and of course that includes uh, Thursday's card. If you want to grab that $60 free account, you can put that uh, to any of my Thursday daily packages or anybody else on the roster. All right, let's get to it. Let's get to our free college football play. Thursday night football, of course, the battle between Pittsburgh and Georgia Tech in the ACC. And we're going to recommend a play on the Yellow Jackets plus the points in this one. Listen, you know, if you saw Georgia Tech a few weeks ago, they didn't look too hot against Notre Dame. They've had a couple of bad spots along the way. Had a couple of nice wins along the way. But all of a sudden, uh, they were off for quite a while because of COVID issues. And then when they came back from being off, this team decided to play hard, play tough. They aren't letting up. Uh, they had the easy win over Duke. They scored 56 points in the game against the Blue Devils. And they did lose last week to NC State. They lost 23-13. But if you saw that game, then you'll know that Georgia Tech had a chance to win that football game and came up short. Pitt doesn't compare to NC State in my power ratings. Uh, they're not as good as the Wolfpack. And Pitt's been struggling. They've only won two of their last seven games. They're, uh, what, they've covered three of their last 13 games overall. And I think Georgia Tech is going to give them all they can handle. And I do like the fact that you're getting as many points here as you are because we have a power rate at a couple of points lower than where the spread sits. So going to recommend a play on Georgia Tech plus the points Thursday night college football. Don't forget about Thursday's slate for me, which includes soccer and, of course, my entire football package for the upcoming weekend led by our one eight-star play, our first eight-star play of the season in the NFL. All available Thursday on my homepage at DocSports.com. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Let's get back in the win column uh, on these free plays after losing a free play here last night. And if again, if you like the videos, click on that thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Let's put Thursday in the win column, both premium here on the free pick report. We'll be back Thursday night with Friday's report. We'll talk to you then.